Majina naitwa Saloma Wanjiru. According to my birth certificate, nimezaliwa Rondiani. Then tukatoka huko tukakuja Kinagop. After Kinagop, tukakuja Gilgil. Kwa Gilgil tukaanza kunza managu. Kuzurudisha kwa kila boma managu hivi then tukabarikiwa tukapata pesa na wangu akanunua plot. Sasa hiyo plot ndio tumejenga Gilgil Langalanga. Huko ndio nilikuwa nakaa. Mimi jina langu ni Dennis Mwangi. Nimezaliwa Kinangop. Kwa Nyandarwa County. Kulelewa nimelelewa huko. Lakini kutoka 2016 nimejilelea Nairobi. Na ndo ninga nikaanza kuanza maisha yangu ya ghetto. We set off to Kajado County to meet up with former street families now doing farming. Our journey is not without challenges. Our car breaks down, but we don't give up. The beautiful scenes from the Amboseli National Park keeps us busy as we wait for the mechanic to repair our broken vehicle. Right now we were on the journey of going to Loitoktok where we are doing our harvest today. Uh, we usually uh, uh, do farming for the street children and then you get the produce and then we go, we, we take to them and, and, and feed them every Sunday. On the middle of the, of the journey, as you can see, uh, the car broke down. So we are here waiting for the mechanic to repair the car so that you can continue with the journey. Meet Salome Wanjiru, a former street kid and now a mother of three. Salome, like many other street kids, ran away from home after life became difficult for her. I was in Kenya, I was in Kenya, I was mama. Mama was in Kenya, I 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 was in Kenya, so at the last minute, hata sezi danganya niribia ka mama angu miambidi kwa ploni yake ya kitoka kwa soko. Kapanda gari ni katoroka ka nyumbani. Menye nitoka ka nyumbani ni kujaga ni kaka Nairobi two years kama wajui kwenye niko. One day watu wa NTV waka kujaga kutuongeresha. Waka niona ka wakiwa nyumbani. Kuniona wakiwa nyumbani, brother angu waka nikujia, waka nirudisha nyumbani. Kunirudisha nyumbani, ndule mamangu tena menianzia. Matusi, matusi, matusi. Kazi yako ni kuenda tu kuzururua, kuzururua, kiletaga watoto. Nona. Hani kona hii life, ni ngumu. Afadhali ni mondokea, hata mini jaribu kujijengia maisha angu. Bati kenya nafikiria kujijengia maisha angu, first of all, nafo uone, ni kuja kuvuta gamu. Sifikiri ati naenda kuweka kazi, sina eni, na kuja tuta huku vuta agama. Born in Londiani in Kericho County, Salome's life as a child took a U-turn after the death of her father. Kwe tumindi of second born, uh, babangu aliaga katuacha tukua wadogo. Uh, mimi ka mimi aliniacha ni kwa stada didiri. Tukawa na shida, mamangu wakanza kuteseka, kuteseka, na alimuacha kuwa pregnant. Uh, so mamangu wakajifungua twins. He, in our family, tumezaliwa tukua wa sita. Uh, after, si tukacha shule, kulea wala mapacha, kumsaidia kulea mapacha, alafu na yana enda kibarua. She says life at home became unbearable as days went by prompting her to make a decision, a decision that turned out to be the worst for her then. Nikatoka nyumbani, mi ndo nilitoroka diyo kuna venye kuna shida. Kakuja first, nilikuja ka Nairobi. Kuja Nairobi, nikachukuliwa children's home. Ikoroa inaitua madhari care. Huko nikasoma, nikasoma, nikafika class five. After class five, then nikatoroka ita tu kichwa ngumu. Hakuna kitu nilifanyi ya goa. Kutoroka kurudi kwa street. E, kuna mtu mingine ya linionaga kaniona mi bado ni mdogo. Na navuta gamu. Ina ni effect. Kani chukuaga, kani peleka children. So miko kahawa vasikari. Hukuna kwa nikasoma. Kafika stara di seven. Kufika seven, hile tu maisha ya astana. Nikapata mimba. Kupata mimba ya, ya, ya uwa fastbonu wangu. Ha, nikona nikona mimba na niko children's home. 
katotoka ka children som nikakuja kwa street same script different cast we meet Dennis Mwangi the seventh born in a family of eight Dennis ran away from home when he was a kid sababu ya kutoka nyumbani ni baba na mama wakambo tulifurugana tu kidogo na mama wakambo kaja kutaka kunipiga na mimi nikaona hiyo yezekani come slap kabisa ndoka nyumbani mlikuwa na patana tu na yani si zangu na yeye akona niambia turudi nyumbani sasa mimi nikaamua tu nianzie tu maisha yangu beke yangu ndo baada ya kusumbuana na wao born in kinangop constituency nyandarua county dennis left his family as a young boy to start life on the street si tuko nyumbani watu wanane na mimi ndio second last lakini maisha ya nyumbani ilikuwa na shida kiasi kaji baba alikuwa anakunywa pombe anakuja anakosa kubai kama chakula ndio na kufurugana nilipoenda ingia shule nilisoma baka class 4 pesa ikaendelea kukosa nikatoka nyumbani ndio nikaingia Nairobi mara ya kwanza 2015 kaka uko nikarudishwa nyumbani kutoka 2016 mimi ndo nimejilea baka mali niko in the year 2016 Dennis began his life as a street boy in Nairobi kwa street maisha imekuwa ngumu kwa kukosa chakula mara mingi mingi lakini kuna watu walikuja wakatuokolea wakatuambia naweza tuleta mahali kama hapa mapazuri tunaweza kutu change life ndio tukaondoka kwa street kaji kwa street kulikuwa na shida mingi sana kupigwa kukosa pesa kukosa nguo na bidi baka umeenda kuiba na ukishikwa ukiiba jua mwisho wa kuiba ni risasi kama mimi nilikuwa naiba nilikuwa naibia tu masimu na vibeti lakini ilibidi nimeacha wakati nilipatana na hiki kundi cha masadaka. Kakuja kanianzisha maisha ingine. Kuja kwa street sasa nika join ile maisha kabisa. Kanza kuvuta gam na tembea na watu wa street nini nini. Sasa hata sioni kitu ngumu. Kivuta gam huona ge kitu ngumu mbele yako. Nikuwa na mimba nikajifungua. Mtoto nikalelea kwa street. At that time mamangu alikuwa sawa akachukua kule mtoto asiharibike kwa street kumchukua alimchukua kwa 9 months anaitwa John kwenye alimchukua mimi nikarudi tena kwa street kaka kwa street nikachukua na tena na kijana mwingine wa street bado kapata mimba ingine nikaza Moses za Moses nimekalelea tao then mamangu akamchukua yaliona watoto wataribika I thank my mom for that Hi after nikarudi tena tu kwa street kuna ile tamaa sijui nini navurutaga mtu unatamani tu kwa street kwa street kurudi tena kwa street nilienda ya nakuru sasa sikuja ya Nairobi kaka nakuru nikaka nikaka kapata mimba ya huyu pata mimba ya nilijifungulia tu huko nikalea nikaleka nikalea nikakaa hivi nikaona tena nimeboeka na maisha ya street karudishwa nyumbani kurudi nyumbani mamangu akanikaribisha vizuri nikakaa nikakaa nikaona ai hapa hivi sipatani na gam pana acha nirudi tena tao nikatorokaga nikarudi Nairobi tena after dropping out of school just like Dennis Salome decided to leave home and start her life as a street kid kwa street nimepitia first nikupigwa second penye tunalala una, ukiamka unapata ngui imeradudu huku nyuma unaona unajipata na uchafu mtu alikuja akakwatia hata ujisikisi ulikuwa ma drugs za kwako ujielewi so inabidi ukilala na mimi nalala kwa ukuta naweka mtoto inside so kabla mtu anifikie nimejisiki nimejisikia Hazad ukikata mtu kwa street anakupiga Salome was a lucky child she was rescued twice from the street by different well wishers so lucky she was that she was given a second chance to go to school Wei msha nyumbani wewe ni ile ni ngumu ni ngumu msha nyumbani ni ngumu na kae hivi chakula amna saa ukikaa tu hivi ukiona chakula hakuna ni kuhangaika unakumbuka tu tao maisha na kutuma tu kwa street unakumbuka tao nikienda ni duru tunaita kuduru kiduru 20 bob unakula 
Tano kivuta gum, kitu ya kwanza gum ina ninye maga mtu appetite. Au skinja. Nona inafunga my mother hivi, so skinja. Kazi yangu ilikuwa kuvuta gum. Gum, gum, gum. On the street, life did not go so well for both Salome and Dennis. They started sniffing glue, which is seen as a cheap way for many street families to get high. I was in the middle of the day. I was in the middle of the day. I was in the middle of the day. I was positive. I was in the middle of the day. I was in the middle of the street. I was in the 20 bob. I was in the middle of the 10 bob. 8 bob. Nizagam. Na at that time, na nyonyesha. Nona. So kenya nakula sindo mtoto na blessed feed. So mtoto alikuwa meisha, mini meisha, hata ungesema. Ha, nika katukwa string kwa nalala biashara street. Nandika box, box chini. Then tunajifunika blangeti. Mungu anasaidia kati mtoto wako wana gonje. Kami hata na gonje ka homa uwi ayuku. Akwa tu sawa. Mvuina tunyeshea. Kami hata siku ndo tuleto wapa ni kuwa ni menyeshea wa tunamoka maji hivi. Tulipatana na wako wa metuletea chakula kwenye bezo. Kakuja tuwa kanito wa kanipea. Kaniambia nita kuwa na ungoza kama leader. Kwa kwa masadaka. Sao ni kuwa na ungoza na kupanga watu kukula. Do tukasikiza na wako niambia neza leta malikama wapa na tuneza lima. Na mi nikaitikia kaji kuliba ni kuwa na penda. For Salome, things were different. While on the street, she gave birth three times. Her first and her second born now live with their grandmother while she stays with her third born. Both kids born on the street. Nikipatana na mtu, ananiambia acha ni kurudisha nyumbani. Narudisho wa nyumbani. Yes, nikona tamatu ya kurudi nyumbani. Nikirudisho wa nyumbani, ndu ule mzazi tena. Hameanza. Matusi, nini, nini. Ah, naona, afadha. Unajua matusi na hat, inauma. Ha, na muondokea tena. Saa, kama saa hii, mamangu wa ligonje kaga pressure. Venya ligonje kaga pressure, siku wa home, nikuwa kwa street na kudu. Kujia kwa na bradhangu. Bradhangu wakaniambia, tuende nyumbani, Usaidia kwa watoto wako, mazea megonje, mazea megonje kata auni. Venya nilienda nyumbani, siti bado auni, nduyu bado, anantusi, nini, nini. Lakini watoto, ataki niende nao. Nona, juka masa hii before kola na ikuja walikuwa shule, anawasaidia. Aligonje kwa pressure, ikakula macho. Sae huwa auni, sae. Well wishes have tried several times to rescue Salome from the street without success. Salome's life changed when she met M. Sadaka Trust, a relief and development charity organization. Kuna ile tu njia mungu anatumiaga. Hakina Fatuma wakanza kutudetea chakula. Iti kuon sande sana sana. M. Sadaka Trust developed plans to ensure street families are taken care of. What M. Sadaka Trust, it's a charity organization. Currently what we are doing at the moment and the main objectives one of it is feeding ch street children, uh, free vocational training, and the other one is also old here together with uh, uh, food distribution. And uh, currently at the moment, we've ventured into farming. Uh, this area is uh, Kajado County. We are in a place called Isinet. This is where, alhamdulillah, we've ventured into planting cabbages together with maize and also uh, beans. Salome and Dennis are among few former street families who have gone through rehabilitation and now are in Kajado County for a new life. Mimi nge inafanya nitamani kukaa huku, kaji Nairobi. Hapa saa hii, naweza, hii pesa nge nikonao, naweza kusave na nitumia in the vision. Kajili hapa, hapa unajua nikipanda kitu kama cabbage, Iyo ni kama nimeeka nini, ni kama nimeeka kwa banki yangu shilingi moja, na nikenda kutuwa sitapata ikuwa shilingi moja, nitapata ikuwa mbili. Sa hile kabeji kama hile, iyo ndo unategemea. Na ningekuwa Nairobi, nikuwa natumia vitu mingi sana. Yani hata pesa zangu, nikipata, sikuwa naweza kuununua tango yangu ya mwili. Nikuwa naenda na kula, na cheza kadi, zinaisha. Lakini hapa sasa pesa kama hika jakuna drugs, natumia yote, nitaweza kuenda kwa duka, nijinunulia kiatu, nijinunulia nguo. Ndiyo na shukuru kwa hama sadaka kwa venye walituleta huku. Na mungu wa saidia sana na wabariki. 
kajima walitutoa ni kama kututoa tu kwa shimo walitutoa ndani wakatusaidia ah wakakuja wakatuambia kuna mahali wanataka watupeleke e, nikaona yenyewe afadhali kupelekwa kuliko kunini maisha na obvious nikienda home mamangu na kasirika juice vumiri naenda na toroka naenda na toroka so naona nampelekea stress anakuwa na ulcers juu yangu kufikiria sana ha, nikaona Fatima ni alikujaga akatuambia kuna mali tunataka tuwapeleke tu wakombole nyumba fanyage kazi ya shamba haya tulikuja on sunday kwenye tulileto kutoka kwa street hey, mwenye alikuwa ameniona mama mwenye kuna picha yangu anaanza kuambia venye nilikuwa nilikuwa na kaa ghost nilikuwa nimepigana na msichana mwingine nimekuwa ndo huku kumejama kucha hivi hata ungesema ni mimi Salome says she is happy with her new life. Kwa na lala biashara street tunaandika box box chini then tunajifunika blangeti. Mungu anasaidia kati mtoto wako anagonjeka. Mimi hata nagonjeka homa huyu yuko tu sawa. Mvui na tunyeshea kama ile siku ndio tuleto hapa nilikuwa nimenyeshewa tunamwaga maji hivi. M Sadaka has set plans to ensure the street families are not left angry and has established measures set by their faith to aid by serving all regardless of race, religion or gender. Uh, alhamdulillah the two acre land cuz we have four acre lands. So the two acre lands we've planted cabbages. The remaining uh, acres we planted uh, maize and beans. Actually what we intend to do with the cash first of all we intend to rehabilitate street kids and also to facilitate them as in there are some of them they want to go back and re reunite with their parents so that is the main uh, agenda when it comes to uh, the cash that we are going to get from uh, from from the farm inshallah you must be wondering why will the charity organization get involved in farming you know in each and every organization we have so many things uh, currently each and every organization need, needs to have a income generating project so we decided as an organization uh, we can start with this uh, project to make sure that the money that we're getting here we can be able also to feed the street children so that is our um, plan inshallah in Kajado, both Dennis and Salome and a few other boys take care of the farm as they earn a living. You know, there are some of the kids that we brought from the street. Uh, street. Mostly, there are some of them they are here. So those are the kids that we are trying as in to, to mold them, as in to make sure, as in, in the probation period of three months to six months, they will, they will change. So by doing business or by doing venturing into something, it will keep them busy, knowing that, okay, this is something that I have to do. And at the end of it, I'm getting paid. So we are paying them also. The future looks bright for both Salome and Dennis. Nataka nitoke hapa nikiwa nimi, nime change maisha angu. Nona, hadi watu wa shangai, ama uni ule tu mama kevo, menye alikuwa na vuta gama, kuwa na jielewa, unona, albi, nitakuwa, nitakuwa funzo kwa ingine. Na siyati nataka nikitoka hapa nirudi kwa street, hapana. Taka nikitoka hapa nitoke, niende mahali penye nitajueza, mina watoto wangu. Mimi, meda si plan kutoka hapa. Mina plan kulima, nikisha lima pesa angu nikipata, the story of Dennis Mwangi and Salome Wanjiru has proved that everything can change and nothing is lost when you put in a positive energy. Mi kwanza ningeshukuru mamangu. Unaona? First of all, penye tu wako kama ananisikia na mwambia tu asante juu ya kunisaidia hadi penye niko na kunilelea watoto. Jisipokuwa ni mamangu singe kuwa, nona, mamangu wangia mwani kuni wange ni uwa, lakini mzazi ni mzazi. Hizi ya kufanyia nini ama nini, mzazi ni mzazi. So, mina shukuru mamangu penye yako. Ni asanti mamu kwa kunilelea watoto, 